Good evening and welcome to this Friday edition of TWT. Well, a little rock and roll tonight. It sounds the same, but this group is belting out a message. They're selling the word of the Lord. They say they resist the sexual temptations of young female fans and throw them Bibles. Striper, later in the program. Never saw one of, one of us at the game. ...to be described as heavy metal, even though to a lot of their fans that's the sort of music they play. But this band sees heavy metal as being linked to evil. They say their music and their drive comes from the Lord. Striper, the four-man band, belts out the word of God. They don't throw insults at their audience as some rock bands do. They throw them Bibles. But despite their Puritan image, there are those who say this American band is working more for the devil than the Lord. Boris Parker reports on Striper. Bless, you. Bless this evening, Father. Lord, we just ask that you forgive us of our sins, Father, and just clean us, Lord, and just help us to keep our minds on you, Lord, our hearts on you. Lord, we pray that your spirit just goes out tonight, Father, and just touches the hearts of all the kids that are out there, Lord. And we just, uh, yeah. just gave our lives to Christ. We united as a band, realizing that as Christians, we should, through our music, stand up for Jesus and let the world know that he's there. Heavy metal band Striper, who actually prefer their music to be called Christian metal or God rock, have given a new sound and image to Christian music. Their music is loud and their costumes and makeup, well, speak for themselves. given Striper religious enlightenment and even help them to find new band members. We decided to form a Christian band and we started praying for a bass player and God put the, the group together with Timothy. You said that you found God. I mean, how did that happen? God knocks at the small door of your heart and through faith you accept him and you give your life to him and then you really begin to uh, to see God work in your new life. You begin to love some of the things you used to hate you begin to hate some of the things you used to love. They come across as good Christian lads, but they have been your typical rock and rollers. That was before God knocked on their dressing room door. We've all done drugs and, and drink alcohol, and we've, we've had our partying days, and we're not here to point fingers at anybody and say, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're right, you're right. That's not our job, that's not our place to do it. According to the Bible, that's called judging, and we're not here to judge, we're not to judge. Jesus. The Christian message is not confined to interviews and the lyrics in their songs. During a Striper concert, the audience is bombarded by Bibles, a case of the Lord's Word for the price of a concert ticket. Striper rocks for Jesus Christ! Yeah, usually in the middle of a show, like with other bands, they'll throw out T-shirts or a piece of clothing or something, and kids go crazy for it. You know, they just want something. You know, they want a pick. They want, uh, you know, something to take home with them as a souvenir. And in the middle of the show, we start throwing the Bibles out, and they have striper stickers on them, and they just want them. They want them. There's never one left. We have hundreds of kids coming up to us after every single show saying, where are more Bibles? Give us more Bibles. We're doing something that no group has ever done. Most groups have a certain style of music that they stick with. We have a certain style of music, but yet we do so much variety because we want to reach everybody. Striper may be doing what no other band has done, but they do face the temptations that other bands face, especially screaming female fans who not only want to find Jesus Christ, but the band in a hotel room. I think the important thing to remember for all of us is that these girls are here and they're probably very impressionable, and we want to be the best example we can to them. We don't sleep around with girls. The thing is, yes, there is temptation with Striper, but to run to temptation is one thing, to run from it is another. Striper always runs from temptation. During their world tour, Striper have faced criticism for being more heavy metal than Christian. I couldn't understand a lot of the vocals, so I couldn't, couldn't tell. Now they know that Christians aren't just goody goodies to just sit at home and play their organ music and stuff like that. I uh, actually become a Christian through their music and they, they actually do work. Hey, heavy metal. <laughs> <laughs> Good. 
but no other substitute. <laughs> so being in Striper, has it made you rich? God ever blesses us to the point of being wealthy. Uh, financially, we will be very wise with our money. There's nothing wrong with being rich. Nothing. It's, it's the love of money that's wrong. If God blesses a, a person with millions of dollars, there's nothing wrong with that at all. So do you guys want to be rock and roll stars? No, we don't. We're not striving to be rock stars. That's not what our goal is. That's not what our vision is. No. Striper. They're pretty looking blokes, aren't they? I mean, there's nothing strange about me, but they do look sort of almost like, well, pretty in the face like a woman, you know? And I'm not like that at all, but the, the Striper. I think I'll get out of this. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs>